Welcome guys, in this video I want to show you two different ways that you can color breed your monitor. So I have two uh, tools up here, one is from x -Rite. it's called the Color Monkey and the other one is from Data Color called the Spider 5. Both of these are monitor calibration tools. Uh, they're basically gonna calculate the kind of colors that you have on your monitor, also take into account the ambient light in your environment. Uh, where your monitor is set up uh, and help you calibrate the colors so that you're seeing proper true colors on your monitor and this way you can make sure that your photos look exactly the same way uh, when they're printed as when you saw them on your monitor also if you're working with videos and you want to make sure that the color grade that you do on your final videos uh, is displayed the same as you saw on your uh, monitor this is something uh, very important so i would definitely recommend uh, for any professional to get this. So what are the main differences between the two? Uh, well, the price is the first. Uh, this one's $170, this one's $150. But right now, at the time of the filming of this video, the x rite one is actually on discount for $30. So you can get it for $140. Uh, when it comes to the way they operate, they're very similar. Uh, they just have little slight differences. As you notice, they're just built differently. So first, maybe I'll talk about the, the one from x rite uh, It has up here, you can see this little lens cover. Uh, it's white, that's for measuring your ambient light. And you're gonna need this uh, when you're doing the initial calibration with your, with your display. You install the software, this kind of works the same for the other one. Uh, plug it into the USB and then it's gonna ask you to basically place this somewhere in your room where you have the sort of standard ambient lighting. Uh, once you've measured the ambient light, then you're gonna flip this little cover and this will expose the actual lens. And this is what you're actually gonna put on, on your display or you know your monitor, it could be a laptop. Uh, and it will measure basically the kind of colors that your display has and then based on that it's going to calibrate your display uh, to have proper proper colors. Uh, also it comes with a little counterweight um, and that's pretty much it. Now the other one from uh, Data Color, uh, again very similar, you have your ambient light meter up here uh, and then when you're ready to actually calibrate the monitor you're going to take this back cover here and you would actually put this to your monitor. Both of these are gonna come with software uh, and the software is similar in some ways, different than others, but does the, like I said, the basic calibration uh, of your display. So what do I think about both of these? Well, I think if you're a professional working with any kind of videos or images, uh, the, you definitely need a way to calibrate your monitor so you can see exactly the, the true colors that you're working with. Uh, now, which one should you get? Uh, I mean, they're very similar in some ways, uh, but for me, my preference is the one from x -Rite for because it just simply offers uh, a few extra features that the, the one from uh, Data Color uh, you know, doesn't have. Uh, one thing I like about this is that you can use it for calibrating not just your, for example, desktop monitors or laptop monitors like you can do with this one, but you can also use this for mobile devices. They actually, there's an app that x -Rite provides. They can install both on iOS and Android. Also, you can use this one to calibrate a projector uh, and it works kind of in a similar way like when you're working with the monitor, uh, but you would actually put it now on this lens cover, kind of becomes like a little stand. You put it down like this, you point it at your, at your projector and this way you can calibrate the colors. Uh, so it's really cool the fact that you just have basically more options, more displays that you can calibrate. Uh, when it comes to the software itself, both of them have pretty good and easy to navigate and gonna use software. Uh, it's kind of pretty much, you know, plug and play, plug this in, into your computer, follow the instructions on the screen, and it's it's going to take about uh, five to ten minutes, really depends. So while you're going through the process of calibration, just take a quick break. Now, another thing you want to be aware is that uh, you're not going to be using these just once. Uh, you're kind of going to do your initial calibration, and then the software is going to remind you uh, after a certain amount of time to recalibrate the monitor because every monitor or display it kind of has a tendency to drift with colors over time. Uh, and both of these, uh, basically, that come the software that they come with uh, will do that. They'll give you the notifications. They also have some little like things you can save your own custom profiles. Uh, you can do kind of before and after kind of comparisons. So you can see what the calibration did. Uh, and in my experience, they both calibrated the display uh, equally well. So really I would say if you're deciding which one to get, it just comes down to uh, your preference when it comes to the functionality that, that both of these provide. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want to check out all the details, also the latest deals on these, then uh, as always check out my website which is tomatosfilms.com. Anyways, thank you guys and I'll see you next time. <laughs>